a massive effort to normalize this. You see the New York Times column say, well, the Trump people have a case. You see the head of J.P. Morgan Chase, the largest bank in the United States, saying, well, they, they're right about some things. There is a chance that Trump could win this election. And the way that sure. he wins is he's treated as a normal candidate. Of course, if Trump was as wacky as they say, they would want him on TV as often as possible, right? And then there was this moment when Vivek Ramaswamy threw down with Charlemagne the God this morning. No, no. Trump will say something. They will pick one word he says and then actually have you respond to it. Talk about gotta, the actual substance, when you about gotta, what we need to address. It's hard, it's hard to when you got a guy who says he wants to be a dictator for a day. You got It's hard when it's a guy who says it's, it's, it's hard when it's a guy who says you got to terminate terminate the Constitution in order to overturn the results of an election. It's hard when it's a guy see, who's see, done an, who led an attempted coup we in this country. Are, the, no, 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 no. the derangement syndrome. <sighs> Former 2024 Republican presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy joins us now. I thoroughly enjoyed your exchange. He's kind of a fun guy. I mean, he you know, he, yeah. he brings on people who disagree with him. So I respect Charlemagne the God for yeah. doing that. A lot of left wing people won't do that. But they still don't really get why millions and millions of Americans like Trump, do they? They don't understand it. I'd like to think I made some progress. We were supposed to go for 45 minutes. We went for an hour and a half. And one of the things I had him do, Laura, was he said, Trump is quoting Hitler and that he couldn't get off of that. So I said, let's pull up the exact quote of what Donald Trump exactly said. Oh, no. Because I know Donald Trump and he's not a guy who quotes Adolf Hitler. Turns out it was just a basic statement of a border crisis that we have. And it happens to coincide with things that a bunch of other people have said through human history. And I think that did change their mind a little bit because they hadn't even known what Donald Trump's quote was. They just know what MSNBC says that it was. And I think this is our path to winning in November in a landslide, Laura. Stick to the truth. Cut through those left-wing media narratives and get to the actual facts. Free speech is the American way. Let every people hear the best argument from every candidate and make the right choice at the ballot box. And that's exactly what these people want to prevent from happening. But the more we're committed, actually, our side is committed to free speech, the more likely we are to deliver a landslide. And I think that's what's coming this November. Okay, just for fun, I want to play another clip from this uh, interview. Now, you made a very a salient point, I think, about American sentiment toward our founding fathers. This was great. Watch. John Adams, you know who his son is? John Quincy Adams. And you know what he went back to Congress with? Was one thing he regretted not doing as a president was abolishing slavery. But you can't tell people just to ignore the fact that Thomas Jefferson I'm was not slavery. telling people to ignore it, to say that we're not going to listen to Thomas Jefferson or that our founding was illegitimate because they were deeply imperfect and flawed is every bit as bad as somebody who's going to say that I'm going to entirely dismiss the fact that they were slave owners. First of all, Vivek, nice looking in the black T-shirt, okay? That was that was very oh. cool to be on with him for that. But um, why, do you think so, why do you think some Republicans seem to have such difficulty with the American um, past and history. They get, they get very scared when they're talking about people like Thomas Jefferson. See, look, I, I'm open about the fact that Thomas Jefferson was my favorite president. He signed the Declaration of Independence, Laura, Wrote at the, the age of, of 33, while also, while also actually inventing the swivel chair. Think about that. These people were inventors. They were intellectuals. And yes, they were also our founding leaders. Were they imperfect? Of course they were, in the same way that you and I and every American and every person today is too. And the very people who are decrying our founding fathers for being the slaveholders, following the written lines you're supposed to recite, Republicans and Democrats alike, they're the very people who would have been the slaveholders 250 years ago. And so our founding fathers, they were not the conformists. They were the pioneers. They were the explorers. And what I want to revive is that founding spirit, not by claiming that they were perfect, but by recognizing their imperfections, they were still committed to the pursuit of a more perfect union. And that's what we are as a country. We're not perfect, but we're founded on the pursuit of a more perfect union. That is what makes America great. And I think that's what Republicans need to be stop by being so shy about and start actually celebrating and wearing on our sleeve. If you ever get a chance to um, debate or talk to like Kamala Harris, and Biden's not going to be debating, I don't think anyone, but it'd be good just to say, why shouldn't George Washington be banned? If you're going to take all these other names off, all these statues down, why, why should Washington still be around as any figure we revere, given his slaveholding yeah, well, past? 
I'll file that away, Laura, and I'm looking forward to hearing Kamala's answer. I don't expect it to be super coherent, but I'll be sure to face off with her on it. All right, but she'll repeat the same phrase over and over again. All right, yeah. Vivek, great to see you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.